Okay, if you love to golf, or maybe you love to work out and you're trying to love golf, like me, um, there are some great exercises that you can do to help improve your swing on the golf course. Stephanie Hansen from Energy Fitness is here with her crew to show us exactly what to do. So, okay, I, I'm not a great golfer. I'd like to get better though. So are these moves gonna help me improve then? Yes, and what's so important about with golf that people don't understand, they think, oh, you're just going out and swinging it doesn't seem like a, a club. Workout. Well, it doesn't, but the more balanced your body is, which is in life in general, the better you're going to play. And golf requires a lot of hip mobility mm -hmm, and stability right? and a lot of shoulder that pe and core mm -hmm. that people don't understand. So if you have an imbalance in your shoulder, that can like change your whole swing. It can cause a ball to go one direction versus the other. Okay. If you're locked up in your ankles or your hips, the same thing can cause issues. Okay, so, so what are some of the main things that we So, so we're Jay, gonna start warming Jay's up. Jay's just gonna start going up. This is, this is gonna be more geared for, I wouldn't take Adam Scott or Tiger Woods through these. It's gonna be more geared towards you guys at home that are maybe wanting to outdrive your buddies or win a little money off them. Just a good little foundation to get started. It's little a lot of agility areas. training. Yeah, it's a lot of areas people neglect, um, so a lot of a lot. I know all you guys at home don't do legs, me included. So it's oh, a lot. Oh, there you of, go, Jay. Get a shot of Jay because this is a good move. Uh, so we work. We work from the ground up. We do a lot of core and leg work. Um, this here, he's going to be working on his glutes, um, some thoracic mobility, the ob obliques, um, kind of strengthen his legs a little bit too. Rear delts, all behind the shoulder blades. So maybe is this something that you would do before you head out to the course? This would also, yeah, it'd be a great warm up. I mean, if you could, if you have a way to do that um, to kind of get everything moving a little mm -hmm. bit better. Mm -hmm. But this can actually be a workout. So while he's doing this, he's getting his heart rate up. And that's another thing that's important is that you build up your endurance. Let's make him talk the whole time. While <laughs> <he's doing this. laughs> so it's important to do a workout where right now he's kind of doing a little bit of an interval training so that his heart rate stays at least like 75 to 80 percent of his max. Um, that's going to help you be able to walk the course, have mm -hmm. endurance and stamina to finish out your game and not get like tired and lose focus. Yes, because we want to walk the course. Don't, <laughs> don't be lazy. Don't go no in carts. the golf cart. Okay, so this is this is working all the important muscles. Yes, again, and, and really, shoulders. when you talk about the core, that's I think something that get that people forget about. That when you're you're turning so much, you're moving your torso. There's a lot of rotation. There's a lot of a lot of yes. core work. And your core is really shoulders. Through uh, hips. Uh, oh. Big man, big feet. Uh -oh. And the reason Brian's saying, like, he when he made this statement of, like, I wouldn't take Adam Scott through this, well, they already do all this stuff. Like, this yeah. is a norm for them. I don't know. You Who's know? the guy? Is it, is it Phil Mickelson or one of the older golfers who, like, you look at him on the side of the course, and he's, like, smoking a cigarette. He's oh, got, like, a big beer John belly. Daly. John Daly. John Daly. That's who it is. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like so he's not the epitome that, of health. That's, <laughs> that's a good example as far as a lot of people think if you get stronger, if you get too big, that's why we kind of had Jay do it, is if you get stronger, this is why the baseball guys get in trouble for taking steroids, you're going to hit the ball farther. Mm -hmm. He's a big guy, he's pretty strong, he doesn't lack mobility. He's still yeah. able to, he's strong enough and he's still able to move and get in the positions he needs to get in to get club to head speed. To put power behind the swing. Yeah. Right. Mobility and stability guys. is key for, for everything, but it will definitely, the more mobile you are, the better your golf game is going to mm -hmm. be, and the better on point you're going to be able to focus and drive the ball. Like, if you have control over your body, you can control your club. And I'm If thinking, you can't control your body, you can't control yeah, your Yeah, and I'm thinking that with everything, I mean, tennis is more my game. These are still yeah. things that I can do to be more fit. Absolutely. For hit not on the tennis court. So. Yes. Great, you guys. And then Thank Brian you. wanted to show an ankle stabilization exercise okay. that you can do for a warm up. Now, this would be great to do before so, you go out and play. If you guys got, like, you can lean, this is going to be hard, it's going to be looking at my booty, but if you could, got a golf, court, <laughs> golf cart to lean on, a big part is we start from the ground up, so we want ankle mobility. Uh -huh. So if you're leaning on your golf cart, you just I kind just of hope our whole set doesn't come crashing down. <laughs> <laughs> as, long as, as long as Jay doesn't lean on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you're just you just going to lean on Jay. As far as you can to each corner. Reach out and yeah. Reach out so to what the it's corner. doing is it's taking. I'm going to exaggerate, but this back ankle, it's going to take it through its uh, eversion, inversion. It's going to rock it all through all of its range of motion. That way, that is mobile. That these way are these these important mobility exercises that you guys. Just, They're so important. I mean, yeah. if you watch a swing, like if you watch the, you can see Brian. Right. You know, you're loading your hip. Your ankles move, your feet. I mean, it's very because important you don't that you have. And, and by the way, you can get hurt in golf. You can get hurt. Absolutely. You can, you can hurt pull a shoulder disc, or pull something. Disc. Yes. yes. Um, okay, you can get in touch with Stephanie and the folks at Energy Fitness by going to our website, thebroadcasttv.com. Just click on today's links, and we are back with our final thoughts right after this. Keep running. Go Keep running. <laughs>